What's up YouTube? This is Carlos with Twins Reef and this is the Red Sea Reefer 300 planted tank and before we start the video I want to give a quick shout out to my favorite nephew Darian. I hope you enjoy this video and I love you. Alright guys now to today's video. So I know not a lot of people are interested in my freshwater videos however having this tank i still want to give an update of what's been going on with it literally it has been on cruise control to the point that i didn't do a water change anywhere from two to three months um all i would do would be basically um topping it off with fresh ro water and you know changing the filter floss but just two weeks ago i decided to do a water change because i felt like the tank needed it um, not only that, but I had a bunch of hair algae growing, so I manually removed it and Yeah, and it seems like it actually helped the tank. Um, it's been looking pretty clear um, These past, you know a couple of days not only that, but I seen a tremendous Growth when it comes to the house plants. So I believe this this plant here is actually called the uh, Plato's or uh, Excuse me if I can't even pronounce it, but it's with a P. Um, but it has been growing really well, as you guys can see there. It's already expanding. Um, it's going upwards. That one too. And I kind of wanted to go into that hangar where I had another plant. And then probably have it either just be all messy or having it run through the room. So it has, you know, been doing really well. Um... I remember when it was barely to right here and literally within two to three weeks I started to see the growth of it I do dose this tank um, with this liquid fertilizer um, you know once a week and when I do water changes I also do that so I actually help this plant giving it a direction for it to grow left side and then on the right side we are actually seeing some growth as well too and it's actually growing around around or on the side of that trim to the kitchen so we'll see how that works out then i have this little palm tree that you know has been thriving not growing but thriving same thing with this peace lily um you know it is growing as you have to see there's a new leaf back there but anything that's down here any plant even this one here um as you guys see with the peace lily the led burns it so i'm not so sure like i mentioned previously if i want to keep this tank or shut it down and just make it into another reef tank but if i was to keep this tank because i like how the plants are growing um i was thinking of actually hanging my two um freshwater um, AI primed um, getting like a kit hanging kit and just have them hanging and probably get other type of house plants um, but we'll see what else um, has been going on with this tank so I feel like the overflow um, like I have just too much there and I, I feel like it's it's causing an issue when it comes to proper drainage Good thing there's an emergency drain right there, but um, I feel like there's a bunch of probably um, roots or like leaves, as you guys can see right here, that is you know blocking that um, overflow and causing you know the return pump underneath the sump to starve from water. Because here and there, I will hear the noise, or you could actually hear. I don't know if the video will detect it. You could hear that emergency drain. Um, you know draining that water because it's over spilling because it's not able to drain properly um, Also today's video is slightly different because I'm actually using my cell phone um, I'm using my Flip 6 So let me know what you guys think about the quality or should I go back to using my Canon um, I think it's an M50 the camcorder that I use now when it comes to plants, uh, I don't know, plants are doing good, but they're covered a lot with that type of algae. I think this is called black bearded algae. 
and it's really hard to remove. Um, I mean, you could do it manually, but it doesn't take forever. But now that I'm paying attention to these leaves, I don't know what fish, but it seems like a fish is eating some of that um, black bearded algae. Um, the fish that I have seen actually in the leaves is the hillstream loach that you can see back there. And that is one of the reasons why I bought it because um, I was told that hillstream loaches are really good at eating algae or um, the uneaten food and you know so that's why i got it then um going back to the plants you can see this amazon sword seems like something's eating it or just deteriorating if i'm pronouncing that word correctly probably due to you know the algae suff suffocating the plant or something so um i've been thinking of probably just removing trimming all the leaves that are covered with bearded algae which is going to be really hard on these crypts because it's basically the whole plant so i'll have to get rid of those trim those um because those are the ones that are a little bit more um covered with algae um these plants are slow growers so when you have slow growing plants that's when the algae is able to thrive and outcompete the slow slow growing plants um, with all those nutrients and they most of the time the algae consumes it instead of the plants as you guys can tell there next to that anuvias there's a bunch of green hair algae and yeah I, that's something i don't like um but oh yeah and i have a bunch of algae on the driftwood when it comes to the fish all my fish are doing good my discus they're doing super good I'm going to show you guys a little bit more lighting lighting up this video. That blue diamond. And I think this one's like a blue heckle. I forgot their name of it. Or Colbat Discus. Super healthy and friendly. Now I think they got used to me. All my angelfish are doing well. My koi angelfish are doing good. And one of my favorite fish in this tank besides the hillstream loach is this black shake angelfish super nice fish looks super majestic i don't think the camera makes justice on what how beautiful this fish is then we have all the peppermint cory cats doing good um i remember when i first bought these i know there's nicer um cory catfish but the reason i bought these peppermints because when i set this tank up i wanted a theme of more natural looking fish um, more like plain natural colors so I went with the peppermint cory cat um, but regardless they all do a wonderful job of eating any food that you know that makes its way to the sand bed we have another fat guy or fat girl right there and like I mentioned before I have had success of them breeding in my tank that I know of not this tank but my previous tank they did and I'm pretty sure one of them is a baby from that one um, I don't know if you could call it litter or or hatch but yeah I think I started with four and now I have a bunch already and they're big size the only thing it's pretty hard for them probably to mate or for the babies to be to have life because there's other fish that's going to try to eat um, all the little swimmers. Other fish that are doing good, see if we can catch them on camera, are the cardinals, the rummy nose, and the neon tetras. I forgot how many I bought. It does seem like I lost a couple. I don't know if they just ended up dying because of their age. But it seems like I have less. I've ha I mean, I do want to buy more so it could look super nice. Having a school of neons, cardinals, rominos just swimming back and forth. Um, but again, I don't, I'm not so sure if I want to keep this whole setup. Um, and also, I don't want to add that much, you know, um, fish load to this tank. That That's why the nutrients are, um, rise because all that fish poop and things like that. And that's how that's why we're having issues with algae. Um, what other fish are doing good? The Siamese algae eaters somewhere in the back. They're doing super healthy. 
one fish that I recently bought was a um, I think the I think they're called rubber lip um, plecos. They're one of the smaller plecos. One reason I bought it because I was told that they're good as well with algae. So you know all the fish that I always keep, let it be fresh water or salt water, they always have to serve a purpose. Um, you know, like the Siamese algae eater there. Um, the Cory cats. Um, I should have a auto sink list somewhere. I had like four or five, but I, I feel like I only have one left. And um, they're just there to consume algae or to eat the unwanted food. Um, and the purpose of the discus and angelfish is just to look good on the tank. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. What's been going on with this tank? Plants are doing good. I'm not doing, um, I'm not using any more CO2 because I ran out. Um, but the tank's looking good. I told my wife that I feel like um, having somebody to actually escape this whole tank if I was to keep it professionally. Like someone that actually, you know, knows how to escape tanks, pay him and have them escape this aquarium to see, um, you know, how they're able or what they could do with this tank. It's a Red Sea Reefer, I think it's like three feet um, long and 24 inches wide. And I think it's like 24 or 23 inches height. Um, but I think it's a nice dimension when it comes to, you know, escaping the tank. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it with this video guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys do, you guys are welcome to subscribe, like, comment down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.